Hey everybody, it's me. It's uh, me and McRuff, and it's um, November 15, 2011, on a Tuesday evening, and I'm watching Chris Matthews, Hardball, on MSNBC. And I want to try to do my very best, even though it won't be that good, to try to edit a part about Herman Cain's now viral video interview he had on Monday. And Chris Matthews is going to do an extended version, but I want y'all to count. How many times does Herman Cain move a water bottle? If that water bottle was not there, woo, what would he actually touch? Experience. We start with Herman Cain. Michael Steele is a former chair of the Republican National Committee. He's now an MSNBC political analyst. And Dana Milbank is a columnist for the Washington Post. Gentlemen, let's go straight to the tape, as Howard used to say. Here, here's Herman Cain yesterday answering a question from the editorial board of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel about Libya. Let's watch and listen. So you agree with President Obama on Libya or not? Libya. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. One. President Obama supported the uprising, correct? President Obama called for the removal of Gaddafi. Just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing before I say yes, I agreed. I, I know I didn't agree. Um, I do not agree with the way he handled it for the following reason. Um, no, that's, that's a different one. Um, so, you know, I got to go back to see. Uh, got all this stuff twirling around in my head. I would have done a better job of determining who the opposition is. And I'm sure that our intelligence people had that had some of that information. Based upon who made up that opposition, okay, based upon who made up that opposition, um, might have caused me to make some different decisions about how we participated. What? Okay, next. I'll see, because it is such a fluid... Here we go. Libya for over five minutes, as Dana Milbeck helped us with. Let's watch some more of what he wants us to see. Dana, here it is, buddy. Some people want to say, well, as president, you're supposed to know everything. No, you don't. I believe in having all of the information, as much of it as I possibly can, rather than making a decision or making a statement about whether I totally <laughs> agreed or didn't agree when I was a privy Two. to the entire situation. So I'm not clear then. What was the parts that you're criticizing the president for of how he handled it? Okay. The opposition that wanted to overthrow Gaddafi. Who are they? How organized are they? How strong are they? Uh, who would be the parent leader? Now that they have succeeded, did they have a plan for how they were going to govern? Well, you're going to end up now with a country in complete chaos. This is what I mean by... So, but if they didn't have that, then would you back off and not and gotten as well? It, 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 would, it, it would depend upon which part they didn't have. So what I'm saying is it's not a clear yes-no answer because all of those things, I think, should have been assessed. That, that's what I'm saying. Michael, I think you got it. <laughs> Excuse me, I think you got it here. It's not that he doesn't have a lot of pieces of the question. He has a lot of uh, pieces of what anybody in the president so would have to answer. So, was the water bottle in his way? No, 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 no,